Hi everyone, thanks for coming by my channel again today. I am super excited, which I feel like I kind of say at the beginning of every video, but I'm generally very excited about this video because it's a collaboration between me and my old friend from elementary school. Her name is Laura and I recently found out a couple months ago maybe that she started a blog back, I guess, mid-2014? Something like that. And yeah, so she started a blog and I went over, I checked it out and it was awesome. I was super impressed by it and the content that she has and her style of writing just, it was all wonderful to me. So I messaged her and wanted to see if we could come up with a collaboration to do between my channel and her blog, which is what you are watching right now. So we decided to do an interview collab, which is I came up with a look that I think is super appropriate for an interview, whether you want to pump it up or tone it down a little bit from what I've done. It's totally up to you, but I think that this is a really beautiful, subtle, but still you put the effort in look for an interview. So I hope that you guys like it. You can go over to Laura's blog and check out the article that she wrote on um, basically everything but makeup that you could wear to an interview. So I will link the blog in the down bar below and it will also be here in the video and you can also wait until the end of the video and I'll link it again there if you want to see how I got to this going on today. So let's get to the makeup. So I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. I love the finish on this one and it's what fits the color of my face the best right now. It's in shade number 12. And I'm just dotting that all over and then buffing it in with my Real Techniques brush as usual. Um, I really like the coverage of this foundation and I just find it gives a really nice healthy glow. And you don't get too dewy throughout the day, but it, you're also definitely not matte either. Then I'm going in with my Matte Pro Longwear Concealer and this is in shade NW20. I'm using it under my eyes, on my eyelids as an eyeshadow primer, down the center of my nose, all that good stuff to highlight and conceal at the same time. And then I'm going to blend it in with my damp beauty blender. After I conceal, it's super important that I am, am setting it with a loose translucent setting powder. So I'm using my damp beauty blender to do that as well. I really like the airbrush finish that it gives it. Then I'm going to use my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and my Real Techniques Contour Brush to contour. Would you look at that? <laughs> so I'm just going in the hollows of my cheeks and carving them out. I'm going under my jawline and around my nose, on my forehead, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to go in with a really, really fresh color of pink. Um, any brand will do. This is one that I just got from the drugstore and I really like it. And this is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. Um, yeah, I'm just going on the apples on my cheeks and it just gives you a really nice, like, awake, fresh feeling. And maybe you'll feel so good that you'll burst out in a song. <laughs> And while you're jamming out, it is time to highlight. This is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm, and I'm just going to go on the tops of my cheeks where the highlight would naturally hit, and then I'm going to go a little bit on my nose with the leftover that's on the brush. And for this video, I'm going to be using my Pride and Joy, which is the Tarte Lip Palette. Um, it's a palette of 12 shadows that are all matte. It comes to less than $60, so I think that's a great deal for the shadows. I'm just going to take Wanderer in the crease and I'm just going to blend that out as my transition shade. And then I'm going, oh no, sorry, that was Force of Nature and now this is Wanderer. <laughs> and I'm going to be putting that in the crease a little bit less blended out than the first color. And this is with the Makeup Geek Dome brush, I believe. I'm mixing my favorite shade, which is Best Friend and Wanderer together to give this really nice mauve brown color. Um, I really like using this palette for an interview or a work look because you can still play with color, but because they're all matte, it's much more subdued and you can still do a smokier look without being too crazy about it if you know what I'm saying. So then I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush again. I'm just going to go over to blend out any harsh lines that there may be. I'm 
I'm taking a flat shader brush and the shade Super Mom. I really like this color. It's a really beautiful vanilla shade. Um, really, really light, and I'm just going to pack that all over the lid and make sure that I bring it up to the other shadows that we have where they meet, and then I'm going to go in and blend that line out. Now, still working with Super Mom, I'm just taking an even smaller brush. This is actually a small concealer brush, but I really, really love it, and I'm going to be using it to highlight the, on the inner corners and just kind of brighten up the shadow that we put there just a second ago, and then I'm going to take it on my brow bone as well to highlight there. Then I'm taking the color Fashionista, which is basically a black matte shadow and I'm going to be doing a very very baby winged liner with it. I did put the tissue under my eye in case there was any fallout because nobody wants black shadow falling all over their face that they just did. <laughs> um, I really like doing the matte um, black eyeshadow for my eyeliner. It gives a really soft pretty look while you still have that drama and depth to your eye. Then I'm taking a, a really creamy light um, eye coal and I'm putting that in my waterline curling my lashes for some mascara and singing at the same damn time. <laughs> then I'm taking my Rimmel Lash Accelerator, my favorite mascara right now, and I'm going to be doing a lot of coats on these babies. I'm taking a NYX lip liner to start the lips off with, and I'm pretty sure this is shade Peekaboo Neutral. These lip liners are great for their price, which is about 3 or $4. Then I'm taking my Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in the color Buttercream. I love this lipstick color. Wait, is it Buttercream or Buttercup? I'll list it below. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to do a nice coat of that. And the two just blend together so beautifully. So this is the finished product. And I am very happy with the whole matte tone. And I love the fresh pink cheeks and the nudie pink lips. I think that everything is just very subtle but still pretty and it looks like you tried before you went in for an interview or to drop off a resume or anything like that. So I hope that you guys got a couple of good tips for before you go job hunting for maybe the summer or just in general. Um, I also think that this look is super appropriate if you're going to school, going to work already and you already have the job anything like that. I just think it's a really beautiful, subtle, but still playing up your features kind of look. So hopefully you guys liked the video, and like I said, go head over to Laura's blog. It's phenomenal, and keep up with her there. Have a good day, guys, and I'll be talking to you later. Bye! We woke up in the kitchen thinking how to help this shit happen over. <laughs>